what's going on guys we're late fall right now it's late november and this video is actually coming up the exact same day that i film it so leave me a comment let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see in the future and if you're not subscribed go ahead and do that but basically late fall right now i'm gonna show y'all exactly kind of the concept concepts and kind of what i implement to target these fall and early winter bass so basically this video right here is gonna be gearing up for winter the fish are migrating to a certain type of place where they're probably going to be for a while and basically it all kind of revolves around deep water and the fish kind of get on more vertical structure this year so i'm going to kind of go through the baits that i use and you know what exactly i do so this time of year the first thing that i want to do is the the water's not super cold yet so right now the water's probably 55 or so so you can still catch fish on a buzz bait on a top water you know even in the late even in the winter you can catch fish on a spook but right now you can still run the bank and find those aggressive fish that are up there still running up and down seawalls still in the riprap that are fight, that are you know feeding very aggressively but what those fish are going to start doing is whenever the what the days get shorter basically the fish don't roam nearly as much and i just believe that it's all about the length of the day so right now you can actually tell i don't know if it's just me or what but i can actually tell in the fall the sun seems to be a little bit more yellow it's not quite as bright and what that does is there's less light penetration in the water so you kind of have while the you know water temp actually permits those fish to move around a ton you kind of have more of a low light this time of year and we have a ton of like really big shadows you know really big shade lines on a lot of these banks so you have more reaction bait kind of bites that last all day this time of year than you do in like the summer in the summer a lot of times you have like one hour low light early and then late in the evening then other than that you got to throw like plastics or or something else this time of year you can literally get away with throwing away throwing a you know a reaction bait all day because there's less light penetration in the water and those fish just feel a little bit more comfortable roaming and you know ambushing that bait now this time of year i also feel like the fish can't see quite as good so let me pick up my untamed tackle ace jig right now this is a black and blue one that i've had tied on i've been fishing slightly stained water but a lot of times this time of year i just feel like with less light penetration the fish just can't see quite as good in the water so i'm going to go to something that's a little bit darker i'm coming out with a color very soon from untamed tackle called a dirty crawl color it's going to have some black some dark brown some orange that's the kind of colors that i want to go to in the fall in clear water is those darker browns something that has like gives off more of a dark shadow because the fish can't see quite as good whereas in the summer I want to be more translucent and more really natural colors colors that the fish can almost see through the light greens and the colors that i mean they just don't have a lot of presence in the water and that's the exact opposite this time of year i want them to be able to see it from a long way away because i just feel like they can't see quite as good and what i'm going to do is all throughout all my baits i'm going to start doing more and more stuff like that so now whereas in the summer i might throw a swim jig a lot more i'm going to go to something like a spinner bait because like i said I believe that we, we can get away with that reaction bait a lot more throughout all the day and especially if you got some wind or something like that so and a good thing that a spinnerbait does is as you start transitioning later and later into the fall you can upsize your blades on the spinnerbait and it slows that bait down and whenever you get into the late fall early winter the fish start to use vertical cover a lot more than they do in the summer in the summer it seems to be all about horizontal cover they like to be in lay downs they like to be underneath you know dock walkways and stuff like that whereas this time of the year they really start to get on the standing timber they start to get on the dock poles and they suspend on the you know the real steep banks and stuff like that anything that's more vertical the fish seem to like it because they can just kind of float up and down you know go to deep water shallow water with very little effort whereas in the summer whenever they're really feeding up they like the shallow stuff they get up there and roam and they aggressively feed so the good thing about the spinnerbait is you can slow roll if you if you do use a, a a little leaf blade like this you can slow roll it and get a little bit deeper down that vertical cover but another thing you could do is if you're fishing shallow like isolated dock poles or any kind of poles or anything like that you could upsize your spinnerbait blades and you can really pass that that tree and it's going to or whatever it is that you're fishing it's going to really slow that bait down and keep it in the strike zone for longer and really aggravate those fish that are suspended and trying to key in on bait but in the early fall i almost exclusively stick with you know a double willow leaf spinner bait because i feel like coming through the water it looks like two or three different shad like i feel like this one right here if this is swimming through the water it looks like three bait fish and i can slow roll this around the outside of docks any kind of lay downs any kind of trees anything like that and try to target those suspended fish and that's the way the fish are going you know right now now i don't have one tied on right now or i don't have it out 
but I do throw a buzz bait and you know a topwater spook a ton right now. The one I'll say I don't have tied on is the spook. So basically in the fall, what you're trying to target this time of year. Now I just said that you know the fish are trying to transition towards that vertical cover, but right now with the water temp still being you know 55 to 60 and it's still you know it's, it's late November, so they're not really in the winter stuff yet, but they're getting there. They still are trying to use the shallowest stuff you can find. So the shallowest point that's the furthest off the bank that's where the fish are going to pull, push this bait up to. You know, like if you got like a long sloping gravel bar that's, you know, only two feet deep on the tip, but it sticks way out into a lake, that's going to be a very consistent place this time of year. You can go throw a spook over it, or you can go throw a spook anywhere around it and probably get some bites. But one thing that I do this time of year is I pick this buzz bait up and I just cover water, I cover sea walls, I cover all the shallow gravel, gravelly points, I throw it up in lay downs, I skip it on a bush, I skip it on a docks. I just do everything that I can with it, but you have to realize that they're going towards, you know, the more wintertime patterns. So that's whenever I'm going to start going towards a pop bar or a spook whenever we start getting into early winter and trying to catch these schooling fish, trying to catch the fish that are more suspended because I can work that over their head a little bit slower and you know just stay in that strike zone for longer and I just feel like I can pull them up for deeper with a big spook than I can with that buzz bait. But in the, in the winter time though I pretty much pick up usually two or three baits. I'll typically have something I can reel like this spinner bait or a chatter bait or if the water's crystal clear I'll throw a swim bait and I'll have something I can flip. And I always go to a jig this time of year over a soft plastic. In the summertime, I almost exclusively fish soft plastics. Y'all see me flipping a creature bait all the time and all kinds of wood and stuff like that. But this time of year, I go back to the jig. I like to downsize a little bit, but I feel like it gets bigger bites and more bites this time of year. And the other thing that I have is a square bill. I always have a square bill on the front deck. It's just a great way you know, to cover a ton of water, but there's a concept between when I throw what square bills. If we're on a warming trend, if the water's warming, it's been two or three days where the water's came up three degrees or something, I'm gonna go to a standard, sorry about that. I'm gonna go to a standard square bill. And that's because I feel like the fish are pushing up, they're gonna move a little bit more, they're gonna roam a little bit more. So the square bill is gonna draw them a lot more from you know a, a greater distance. And when you're on a flat, you know, you need as much draw power as you can have because you don't know exactly where the fish is going to be. So I feel like a square bill on, on a gravelly flat or from up in front of a seawall or on riprap or something like that. But now riprap can kind of go both ways. If I feel like we're on a cooling trend, if the water went from 53 down to 50, I feel like the fish are going to go down to the more vertical banks. That's whenever I go to a flat sided crankbait like the Spro Little John or something like that that's going to have a tight wobble. It's going to have, you know, the flat sides. And what that does is I feel like if the fish are suspended, I have a better chance of getting them to bite on a bait that you know has a tighter wobble. That's just what it seems like to me in the winter. I can make them commit to that flat side of bait a little bit better. Another thing is that flat side of bait, the bill angle of that little john, it dives really, really quickly. So if I'm throwing it up to like, you know, a really steep bank that's, you know, four feet deep before I get to the fish, I don't have to reel that bait for quite as far as I do a square bill to get it down there and get it deep and keep it bouncing on those rocks on the edge of that on the edge of that uh, really vertical drop. So that's pretty much what I keep on the front deck this time of year, a jig, a spinner bait, or, so, or a chatter bait, and then a square bill. So when, when a bite gets pretty tough, I like to grind with that square bill and that jig, but that's kind of how I approach wintertime fishing. I just kind of get to where I feel like the fish are going to be suspended on the vertical cover, and I find ways to slow down, and I find ways to predict where the fish are going to come. And obviously, I always fish current, and I always try to be in a little bit more stained water if we possibly can. So hope you all enjoyed me telling you all how I gear up for river the winter time which is fast approaching you can see i've already got my striker gear on because it is cooling off here a little bit so without further ado i'm about to go implement some of these patterns today on my home lake and hopefully y'all will too we'll see you on the next one